Well, hello and welcome back to another exciting installment in the Double Masters Booster Box Openings. So I am testing out a lower resolution so that I can just see the comparison. So we got, I think, five openings that we're going to do on the lower spectrum just to see if we, if we notice a difference. I bet we'll see a difference in the foiling, but what barely it's all pretty premier technology all right there's our box topper looking sweet right off the bat all right let's get the show on the road get that set right there the box topper off to the side and let's just get right into it with the dark confidant pack let's see if we can get some stellar pulls today people all right i'm actually really liking the resolution it's not bad, people can, can see it perfectly fine. All right. Mm, cranial plating into our first mythic. Nice, dark depths. Mythic number one with a cranial plating. Nice. The dark depths came with its token. That's pretty sweet. One mythic down and pack one. Pretty good luck. Let's see if the rest of the box can pay off. All right, there are comments. Now let's just get into it. Ovenwald Mysteries, Gore Clan Rampager, and Skull Mulcher with a mana reflection. Sweet. Mirror Battle Sphere. Yeah, you can read it. Not bad. Okay. Two foils. Yeah, the foiling looks a little less flashy, but all in all, it looks pretty much the same. Okay. Uh, gelatinous. Gelatinous Genesis. Ash Barons. Sarah Sphinx into a ravenous trap. Nice. Oh, mythic number two. Archangel of Thune. Killer. Great card. And we have two foils. Put a mirror token over here. Pack number four. Just burn through these commons. Brainstorm. Thopter Foundry. Ravenous Intruder. Selesnia Guild Mage. And Awakening Zone. Nice. With a Maze of Ith. Sweet pulls. Great. I'm very happy to get Maze of Ith anytime. And look at that foil. Throne of Geth. Just looking super good. Let's check. The resolution is not bad. It's a little fuzzy, but you can still tell it's a throne. Cool. Making sound effects. Yeah, that's me, people. All right. Parasitic Strix. Ooh, Urza's Tower. Nice. Into the Uncommons. Vampire Hex Mage. Path to Exile. Sweet. With a Ratchet Bomb and a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Sweet pulls are two foils, just some comments. Got a crib swap and an elf token. Pretty happy so far. The set is killer. Assault Monolith. This is a pretty nice pack. Let's see what our two rares are. Not bad. A Wooded Bastion and a Talcor Engineer. The two foils, Bone Picker and Metallic Rebuke with a Golem token. Pretty happy about that. Super sweet. All right, moving on. Earth is mine. Sweet. Oh, nice. Adaptive Automaton. Sweet. And a Swift Blade. A Swift Beard. Servo token with some pretty generic foils. All right, next pack. Sound effects. There's a power plant. You can't tell I'm bored. 
Treasure Keeper, Chief of the Foundry, Flicker Wisp into a dual caster mage and Maelstrom Pulse. Ooh, awesome. Super good pulls. I love Maelstrom Pulse. All right. And then our foils are a Pungify with. Oh, what? Foil Mana Reflection. What? Sweet. That is a great foil to get. All right, keep them going. Only two mythics, everybody. So let's step up our mythic game. Let's get some more mythics. All right, let's cruise through these commons. Uncommons. Mythic number three. You talk to the PAX people and they answer. They talk back. Mythic number three, Imperial Recruiter. Very happy with that. That's a great, great, great addition to the mythic pulls with a kemba nice very happy with that sweet kemba nice foil crop rotation silly elephant token cool up to three mythics on that pack let's see the range of mythics is is pretty broad we've had six mythic boxes We've had a lot of seven mythic boxes. That's what I expect when I'm cracking a box of double masters. We've also had, uh, I would say a good amount. I'd say like four or five being eight mythic boxes, one or two being nine mythic boxes. And so far we've had one 10 mythic box. That was pretty impressive. I think it was the last opening. All right, stop peeking. Stop peeking, buddy. Hers is mine. Metallic Rebuke and Sanctum Spirit into a Dark Steel Citadel. Awesome pull. Very happy with that. Master Splicer, Cogwork Assembler, and Inkwell Leviathan coming in for the steel. Pretty good card. Look at that little lighthouse just getting engulfed. All right. And Duplicant. Nice. Very happy with that. With two foils and the news. All right. Awesome. Invigorate. Hinda. Death Reap Ritual. Into a Flooded Grove. Nice filter land. Probably one of my favorites. And Karn Liberated for Mythic number four. Oh my gosh, people. Sweet. Super sweet. Four Mythic so far. Nice. With a Foil Pentad Prism in the same pack. Super stellar box. So we're sitting at a Dark Depths, an Archangel of Thune, uh, Imperial Recruiter, and then a Karn Liberated was the one we just cracked. So nice. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's get through these packs. Hidden Stockpile, Hundrify. More Rook, Banshee, into a Pure Steel Paladin for the first rare slot. And Oblivion Stone. Nice. Pretty good pulls. Happy with those two. And a Foil Ovule. Great. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but whatever. Don't, don't crush me. Alright, next one. Dark Steel Axe. Tamir Ref. And we're back. Sorry about that. There was a file being silly. And a Mishra's Bobble. Nice. Sweet pull. Ooh, Dread Return. Nice. Toppled the statue with a Braids Conjurer Adept. And Rolling Earthquake. Pretty cool card. And our two foils. Not bad. And next. Chromatic Star. Sphinx Summoner. Valorous. Stance. 
drown in sorrow into an ad nauseum. Nice. Sorry, I'm slow rolling. I'm just looking at it, see if there's any mess ups. And a walking ballista. Sweet. We've got a chromatic star foil and an Urza's tower foil. Two pretty good, pretty strong foils. All right, let's see what else we can get. We're sitting at four mythics. Let's see if we can get at least six. Core Tapper, Golem Artisan, Woodland Champion into a Sword of the Meek, upshifted, nice, with a, ooh, Koldolfa Forge Master, very, very powerful. Golem Skin Gauntlets and Fortify. With an Eldrazi Spawn Token in the clothes. All right, next pack. Ooh, crop rotation, sweet. I think we got a foil one earlier in the opening. Valor of Akros, sweet. Joyra's familiar, and ooh, Karthus. Oh, Mythic number five. Tyrant of Jun, sweet. And Ion Storm, awesome. We're sitting at about five Mythics. So we got an Ion Storm, and our foils are pretty nice. I really like that Disciple. Really, really nice pur purple hues in the foiling. Okay, next card. Next pack. Just throwing them. Ooh, we got an Urza's Mine. Ravenous Intruder. Throne of Geth, sweet. We got a Thirst for Knowledge and Mana Echoes. Sweet. Our six Mythic. That's an awesome pull. Looking great. Six Mythic box. So we've hit our minimum. If we can get one more, then we would be on our normal, normal pace. These are our two foils. Nothing special with a Thopter token. Next pack. Okay, those are our commons, nothing real fancy. Painsmith, Brimstone Volley, into a Vexing Shusher is our first rare. It's a pretty good one, I really like that goblin. And a Tempered Steel, sweet. Two foils are two commons with a mirror token. Looks like we're on our last six packs. Just gonna open pack six. Maybe we can get another Mythic, that would be nice. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Six is, you know, the low, lower end. It would be awesome to get seven or even eight. Oh, sweet. The reprint, and then, and then there were two white spells. They're talking about beefing up white. Let's see what, what they end up doing with the concept. New play mechanics. For white, I, I suppose. All right, Urza's Tower, sweet pull. Already happy about that. Salvager, Galvanic Blast, Onagi Nada, and a Well of Ideas. Pretty good, pretty popular. And the next one is a Blink Moth Nexus. Moving right along. Elemental token and two foils. Four, four packs left. Let's get right into it. See if we can snag another mythic. Let's just cruise through these. Okay. Ooh, lightning greaves. Sweet pull. Already happy now. Time sieve is our first rare. And a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, just just making everybody's day even that much better. So we did eventually hit the seventh mythic. So there there you go. Another box, I believe, getting the Karn and Jace in the same same mythic pool so that's awesome oh even better look at that and with a foil rare magus of the will that was a great pack so i'd be surprised with the last three packs we could get another mythic we've been seeing a lot of seven mythic boxes so this that might have been it that was a, that was a great mythic to, to finish out on you know jace the mind sculptor 
very popular. Okay, let's get through these commons. Okay, Sandstone Oracle. Weapons Trainer. Weapons Trainer and a Clog Assembler with Boon Reflection as our first rare. And another Mythic. So we did we did pull off eight Mythic box, but I want to say that the, the Geist was probably just a bulk throw in. Just to put the box at the spicy level, but still very happy with that. Ooh, nice. And a Worm Coil Engine token. Great box. We got eight mythics, so that's up in our average. So it's really around the, the seven to eight range. That might have been our fifth or sixth box getting eight mythics. Last opening, we had ten, so there's some wild things going on. Fatal Push, great pull. Very happy about that. And our first rare is a Firelit Thicket Filter Land. Great pull. And an upshifted Baleful Strix. Can't be upset. It's a great card. Two foils. And a wolf. Last pack luck. Let's see. Let's see what we got. We got another mythic that would be pretty impressive. Okay. Battle Rattle Shaman, Fierce Empath, Executioner's Capsule, Iron Bully, Fairy Merchantist, oh, Fairy Me Mechanist, Gleaming Barrier, Flailer Husk, Glint Sleeve Artisan. Those are all our commons. We're looking at a Thopter Foundry. Sweet. Valor and Akos and Dread Return into a Mystic Gate and a Greater Good. So we didn't get nine Mythics, but... You know, ending on a pretty strong note. Those are pretty pretty good rares. And then we get our two foils with a germ token. Not bad. Pretty stoked about the mythic pulls. Anything over seven mythics in a box is going to be pretty, pretty happy about that. Nice. Great condition. Card stocks improved. Everything looks great. Imperial Recruiter, I can't believe they slid him in there. Great pulls. All right, drum roll. Time for the big guy, the box topper. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's rotate those. Backs are looking pretty good. All right, I believe this is our mythic slot. Let's see what we got. Meddling Mage. I think that is the the nasty pull, but I'm not upset about it. I don't think I have any meddling mages yet. So I'm pretty excited. Awesome. So we got a meddling mage, first one, and then a stone forge mystic. That's an awesome pull. Very happy about that. So that's 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 it. Uh, you know, ending on a great note. Overall, I'm going to review the video quality and see if, you know, if I thought anything should change. You know, feedback is always appreciated. I might go up to uh, 2.7. You know, not 4K, but just go up a little bit better just to get, you know, better video quality. Just to see. Because... I believe the text is difficult to, to read, but we're not reading cards or opening packs. Looks pretty clean. I'm happy with it. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.